Shalawam Akim and Akwathiam, Kahalayam, Wahata Pa'avat, La, Abinaw Yahawa, Bahashem Shal, Malak Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Shalha, Bakakwadash, Lai Walam Yam, Wa, Ariyam. All praises and the glory to our Father Yahawa, in the name of King Yahawa Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit forever and always. Much love to all you brothers out there that are helping seal the 144,000, the house of David. Ha Bayat Shao Dawada. And we pray to be part of that number. Ha Batazar Lord willing. Much love to the helpers and friends of the prophets of the men and women that are going to be part of the 144,000 and the one third. And much love to the one third Israelites scattered all around the earth, the great multitude that scattered amongst these heathen nations and even look just like all these other nations where they have been scattered too and do not have the typical Israel appearance, having melanated skin and woolly hair, but they still go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the holy, royal, chosen seed line, who the kingdom of heaven, salvation, the covenants, promises, blessings, and everlasting life is only for. And much love to the one-third women and children that are also gonna receive salvation through a man of the Lord. Woo! Let's fucking go. And as this video is titled, it's titled, Yay! Woo! Now why'd I title it that for? Because as y'all can see, I'm in a nice beautiful location, which means that my deliverance finally happened. Things are way better. I know I disappeared for a little bit. I was going through a beautiful transition. I know a lot of you are worried about me, but things are good and things are fucking better than ever. Things are better than ever. I'm in a new city. I'm in a new location. I'm in a way better living situation. So things are really looking up. And I pray that everything is getting better for you, Akim and Akwathim as well. Because I know we're all going through a hell. But guess what? I hope that this will be a huge faith booster for you all. Because me going, going through that tribulation for a whole entire year. Having to sleep outside. Going in and out of hotels. Having to sneak in and out that storage room. Guess what? It's finally over with. I'm in a way better situation. My health is way better. And on top of that, Yahweh Ba Shem Yashai. Bless me with some new Northern Trap princesses. Yeah, so things are looking really fucking good. Yeah, so I know a lot of you are worried about me, but I just had to handle some business and take care of some things, and I'm gonna get back on fire. And now that things are getting better, I'm gonna be more on fire now more than ever. For real. Much love to all you brothers. Th the water for all of your help. The water for all the support and the love. For real, you brothers mean a lot to me. Y'all are my real family. And I've been a one-man camp, but really, I'm not a one-man army. Because you brothers, you are my camp. For real, you brothers are mad cool. For real. A lot of you brothers have been with me since my first Wrath of Heaven channel. And a lot of you stuck by my side. And I met a lot of you new Akim when I went to war with the Hyena Boys back in April. When it came to men and AK Magic Mushrooms. And the waterfall of the support and love. I love y'all. I know y'all were worried. I know y'all probably thought I was done. Oh, hell no. I ain't never done with the truth. Hell no. My fire. My passionate spirit for the truth ain't never disappearing much love to all you brothers things are better now more than ever and i'm gonna be back on fire and i actually did a video like this a day ago but it didn't upload so now i gotta redo it on a whole new phone because at first i did it on this phone but this phone messes up a lot but now i'm on my other phone so hopefully it uploads no problem and i got better wi-fi too so i can upload videos quicker and more efficiently yeah so things are looking really good Yep, I'm in a new city, got the water, got all the boats. For real, I'm around a lot of beautiful scenery, a lot of beautiful women around here, beautiful restaurants, I'm way healthier. So, I, I got no complaints. Shit, my only complaint is, when is this place gonna be fucking destroyed? <laughs> but as in my deliverance, I feel happy. It's like, how about Shem Yashah, he's shown us that he's really with us. And I know a lot of you brothers, you're going through situations and you're just like, damn, when is this shit gonna end? Trust me, it's gonna end. When it came to my hotel situation, having to live day to day, always being on the brink of homelessness, wondering if I was gonna be back on the street again, yo, that was pure hell. Yo, I never thought that shit was gonna end. But guess what, it finally ended. And I've been in this new city for about three weeks now, and I've been doing way better. Way better. Yep, so we're gonna have our bad days. We're gonna have our bumps in the road. We're gonna have our potholes. We're gonna have our obstacles. But just know that Yahweh Ba Hashem is with you. And y'all are gonna have your deliverance happen out of nowhere. The same way happened for me. For real. So Yahweh Ba Hashem is with us. And the things are really getting better. I'm way healthier. I feel way stronger. Way more vital. And the Wadi Yahweh Ba Hashem Yashai. For real. So I know that y'all would be very happy to hear this good news. And I'm happy to share because I know a lot of you were wondering what happened. I was just moved. 
how to get settled in and just complete this transition. And now things are getting way better and I'm way more comfortable. I finally adjust to my new surroundings and I, I, I fucking love it here. And the place I'm living at also is temporary, but I'm loving the city so much that I might just stay out here. I might just find a new place out here because I got some roommates where I'm going to be there for about like a month or so. But eventually I'm going to have my own place very soon. Yeah, so things are looking really good. Much love to all you brothers. I love you all a lot. I can't wait to talk to you all more. Not just texting, but actually doing video chats, talking on the phone. Feel y'all mean a lot to me. Y'all are my real family. All you brothers that I speak to on WhatsApp and, and um, Instagram. And all you brothers that help me out. For real, y'all mean a lot to me. I'll never forget that hoe. Yes, I know y'all were kind of nervous at first, like wondering what happened. I know some of y'all probably thought I fell out. Oh, hell no. Nope, I'm locked into this. There's no way I'm gonna ever give up on you all. I'm gonna keep feeding the sheep. I love being passionate. I love doing all these amazing videos. And if everything goes well, I'll have a new phone in about two or three weeks. And I know y'all missed those slideshow videos, the Isaiah 41 videos, Spirit Japan videos, Kingdom Heaven videos, Blessing videos, Jacob Shepherd videos, and those are all coming back very soon. And now that I have better Wi-Fi, now I can do more face videos instead of just doing screen record videos because now my videos will upload way faster. But back when I was at the hotel, their Wi-Fi was had a very weak connection. So even just doing regular videos like screen record videos, they would take forever to upload. But now I can do videos more efficiently. I'm pushing my better. I'm in a way more comfortable situation where my mind don't always gotta be racing, wondering where I'm gonna get my next meal or how I'm gonna get money. Things are way better, I'm way more stable and it feels good. For real. Y'all, y'all some amazing brothers, and I wouldn't have made it this far without you all. And I never forget that. And I look forward to things getting better, even more better than what they are now, because I have a lot of great things I'm working on. And I look forward to being able to help y'all out even more the same way that y'all help me out. <laughs> Cause some brothers be like, oh nah, your videos are good enough, but hell no. I gotta return the favor. Bro, you y'all have helped me so much, and I'm like, damn. I'm like, I, I never felt this much love before. Shit, y'all have shown me more love than my own family. And that's something I'll never forget. Bro, y'all some amazing people. Our blessings are coming. A lot of great things are happening for us. A lot of brothers are getting their women. We're getting that spiritual power soon. All of our prayers are being answered. Everything is manifested for us. Yeah, so things are gonna continue getting better and better for us, for real. The water y'all by Shem y'all shy. Like, for real, it just feels mad good. Like, it feels unreal. I'm like, damn. Like, all these great things are really happening. It feels amazing. Like, have you ever had so many good things happen that you're like, yo, is your how playing tricks on me or something? <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, because we're so used to catching hell that when the blessings come, we're like, damn, like, do I really deserve this for real? But guess what? We do deserve it. That's why he's giving it to us. And we have a lot more on the way. This is the, just the beginning. We have a whole lot more good coming to us. For real. This is the end. Everyone else is going down. We're rising up. For real. Our enemies are on their downfall. We're on our uprise. I have many brothers telling me how they get new women. Y'all by Shem Y'all Shai bless me with some new northern tribe princesses. My Latina princesses. So, yo, things are looking really fucking good. Things are looking really fucking good. I have not felt, I haven't felt this good in years. I have not felt this good in years. For real, and a lot more good's coming on the way. Because Yahweh by Shem Y'all Shai said in the book of Luke, that it is his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. So guess what? Even before we get the kingdom, we got mad blessings coming. Remember, we're getting that fame on this side. We're getting our women on this side. We're getting that spiritual power on this side. We're getting revenge on our enemies on this side. So, yo, we have a lot of good things coming. We're going to be doing miracles soon. We're going to be performing the so-called impossible soon. We're going to have earth-wide fame. This is what we prayed for, and guess what? We're about to get it. This is our time right here. Everyone else, is they're finished with. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Yeah, so get ready for a lot of amazing things to happen. Because a lot of us are going through hell. And sometimes we go through so much hell to where we're like, damn, is this ever going to come to an end? But guess what? It is going to come to an end. And it's going to come to an end sooner than what you expect. For real. So just remember, all your prayers are answered. Just because you didn't get something as soon as you prayed for it, or according to your own timetable, that doesn't mean it ain't going to happen. Just remember, delay does not mean denial. Just because you don't get something as soon as you want, that doesn't mean you ain't gonna get it. It's, it's gonna come. Yo, cause I, I thought my deliverance was never gonna happen. That shit sucks so bad. Having to deal with those Elamites every day. 
like fucking damn, always stressing about money like that. Always having to worry about food. Having to sneak in and out the storage room. And sometimes I would oversleep up in there and almost get caught by the housekeepers. And I almost got them fired one time. And I almost got in trouble, but everything worked out because Yahweh by Shemesha made it all work out. But for real, Yahweh by Shemesha is with us. And I hope that this will be a, a great faith booster to you all. For real. Yo, when I seen the L Court before, it was like your testimony of what you went through and the hell that you went through will be someone else's survival guide. Because I know a lot of other brothers are going through similar situations like what I went through and even worse than what I went through. But guess what? The greater the hell that you go through, the greater the deliverance. So your deliverance is coming. And it's going to happen sooner than you think and keep the faith. Because, yo, we're about to be up out of here very soon. It's a nice, bright, beautiful day. But real, we're shining. A lot of people always look at you. You're getting more women. You're getting more numbers. We're already in the beginning stages of Isaiah 4 and 1. Yo, so a lot of great things on the way for us. For real. The Wadi Hao Ba Shem Yashai. Miracles happen every day. So expect miracles, expect blessings, expect good things to happen. You may wake up not even feeling good, but just because you don't feel good, that doesn't mean it's going to be a bad day. Like that, how that quote goes. Instead of stressing about what can go wrong, be excited for what can go right. Because you never know what blessings or what amazing things are going to happen in your day. So that's why you always got to have an optimistic outlook. Because your deliverance will happen, your prayers have been answered. And that's how you how by Shem Shai shows his power. It's like when you watch a movie and there's a, a plot twist. Well, you how by Shem Shai, he, he always gives us amazing plot twist. Where it looks like things are not going to work out, where it looks like things are going to get worse. And then boom, out of nowhere, things just get better. And even better than what you expect it to be. So that's why you just got to keep the faith and just know that everything's going to get better for real. Feels good to be doing videos again. I might do another video tomorrow. I just want to let you know how I'm doing and give you all the update of the good news. Oh yeah, I'm doing mad good. I feel very good. For real. A lot of good, a lot of great things on the way for us. For real. Just remember, yo, we haven't been having all this endurance, all this patience, anticipating all of our blessings. This has not been in vain. Because Yahweh Ba Shem Yosha said, he said that our work is not in vain. Yeah, so just know that you're going to receive everything and you're going to receive even more than what you prayed for. And when you do get everything that you prayed for, it's going to be even better than what you expect. And your Howard Bosch, Shem Yoshai, he's going to throw some more on top of that. So, yeah, we have a lot of great things coming. Like how that saying goes, if your Howard can take away something from you that you never imagined losing, then he could give you something that you never imagined having. And if your Howard can take something away from you that you never imagined losing, then he can give something back to you that you never even imagined having back. Yo, so just know you're going to get everything you want. So don't listen to none of these bitch-ass dudes. And I'm, I'm not talking about one specific camp. I'm talking about all these fake-ass Israelites that want to try to take your crown, want to try to diminish your faith, or want to try to say that what you're praying for is too extravagant and too big for you, how to give you. Don't listen to none of these dumbasses. Yahweh Ba Shem Yashah said, let no man take that crown. And really, you got to worry about more of these so-called dudes in the truth taking the crown than somebody outside the truth. Because somebody outside the truth, you already know they're a piece of shit. You already know they're a low life. But somebody in the truth that got a Bible on, that has, I mean, I said got a Bible on, that has a garment on and has a Bible in the hand, you expect them to be sincere. So when you communicate with them and watch their videos, you lower your guard down a little bit because you trust them. But those are some of the biggest demons. And that's why Yahweh Shah said, he said, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, because you got a lot of dudes that proclaim the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yashai. They claim to have the truth. But really, they're just the truth that in the truth. They're just wolves in sheep's clothing. They're, they're just fucking demons posing as angels. So don't let nobody ruin your shine. A lot of you brothers have amazing talent. Use your talent. Shine. That's why Yahweh by Hashem Yashai gave you that talent. The scriptures say, when, when we have our light, we don't put it under bed. No, we put it on a hill so that everyone can see it. For real, so a lot of you have amazing talent. We all shine in different areas. So whether you draw, write, make music, don't be afraid to cultivate yourself. You were given that for a reason. Your passions and your talent, that was given to you for you to stay sane up in this place. Because that's why it says in Ecclesiastes, it says how, be not over righteous much, lest thou should destroy thyself. So th that's what you're supposed to be doing. Like how that saying goes, you're supposed to have three hobbies. One to make you money, one to keep you in shape, and one to keep you creative. So that creative energy that Yahweh Ba Shemeshai blessed you with, 
and that talent that's embedded inside you, whether it's martial arts, driving, writing, whatever you do, you're supposed to be using that. Because in this captivity, going through all this hell, when you go through a lot of hell, it feels like time is going by so slow and it feels like it's going, it feels like it's taking forever. And what's that old saying? Time flies when you're having fun, right? So everything's a balance. So whether you make music, whether you write, have some fun with your kids, do something, swim, play some basketball, for real, because we got to pass the time up at this place. For real. A lot of dudes, just because they have the truth, they let themselves deteriorate into a piece of shit. And a lot of these dudes, they know that they're pieces of shit, and they want you to be a piece of shit just like them, and they don't want you shining. And they want you to feel ashamed for your gift. Now, don't let no one make you feel ashamed. How about Shemeshah blessed you with that? That's why I was given to you to begin with. So don't let no one take your crown. Because trust me, a lot of dudes want your crown. A lot of dudes have jealousy. A lot of dudes are nothing but a bunch of piece of shit haters. And don't let none of these dudes diminish you or try to weaken your faith. When you talk to a so-called brother, or when you watch a dude's videos, you should be on a high vibration and you should feel more on fire after speaking to them or after watching their videos than before. And if someone is making you feel worse than that individual brother, you're supposed to amp your brother up and your brother's supposed to amp you up. That's why it says in Proverbs, iron sharpens iron. Yeah, so don't let nobody diminish you. Yo, you know how many dudes have talked shit about me for having my 5 passionate spirit of being so energetic and enthusiastic in my videos? Dudes are fucking haters. A lot of dudes in the truth are nothing but bitches. And don't let these dudes try to throw you off your game. Don't let these dudes stop you from doing your thing. I mean, a lot of you have some amazing talent and you brothers are cool as shit. I see a lot of you brothers doing your thing on Instagram. I mean, y'all got, got some amazing talent. Use that talent. I mean, yeah, yeah, Allah. You're the prince of the power. That's why it says in the book of Peter, it says that we are a peculiar people. You're supposed to use that talent. That's how you, you, that's how you get your shine. For real, so I use that. For real. Don't the scriptures say that we're gonna be more fresh than fine gold? For real, so we're supposed to stand out. We're not supposed to fit in, we were born to stand out. So stand out. Like how that saying goes. Hold on. Had to wait for that motorcycle. Like how that saying goes. You were born in original, so don't die a copy. For real, so stand out. We're supposed to stand out. Don't be afraid of these haters and these dudes that want to talk shit. For real. Because you got a lot of shit talkers. And you have a lot of bitter ass dudes. They got no style, no soul. And they, they have no passion. And they only do videos because they're commanded to. They don't really do it from the heart. They don't do it because they really want to. They, they only do it because they're commanded to. It, it's like a chore to them. But me doing videos, this ain't a job for me. This ain't a chore for me. I love doing this. That's why I do, on average, hour long videos. All my videos are at least 45 minutes to an hour. For real. And once I start live streaming again, I'm going to start doing those super long videos again. I used to do two and a half hour long um, live streams. And those are coming back. Oh yeah, I want to say that too. If any brothers have a YouTube channel or a phone number you don't need, Babaku Shai give it to me. So, Because I would love to do some live streams again. Because both my channels, Wrath of Heaven and Angel of Death, I can't do live streams on those channels. But I want to get back into live streaming very soon. For real, that's going to be mad fun. Doing, not only will I be doing Spiritual Power and Isaiah 4 and 1 slideshows, but I'll be doing Isaiah 4 and 1 and Spiritual Power live streams and all that good stuff. I'm bringing all that back. The Kingdom of Heaven videos, the Blessing videos, I'm bringing all that back. For real. That, that old Wrath of Heaven's coming back. Y'all remember before I went through my tribulation, I was doing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 videos a day. The most videos I ever did in the day was 14 videos. And that's coming back. Yep, now that the conditions are getting right again, that's all coming back. Now that I can be comfortable and be stable and know that I have food and have shelter over my head and a stable place, all that's coming back, for real. All that's coming back. I miss doing all that. Yep. How about Shemmy Shai? He's gonna make, the, make that all come back because the feminine of the word's coming soon. And I would really love to do all those videos again before the feminine of the word comes, for real. And that's all coming. Feel much love to all you brothers. I pray that y'all are having a good day. And for you few real like Wathium, we're about to be up out of here soon. Our blessings are coming. And I pray that this video was a nice surprise for you all. Yeah, I, I fucking love doing videos. I can't get enough of it. Doing videos are so fun. For real. And I've had countless brothers tell me how they tell me how I do the most fiery videos and the most explosive videos that they've ever seen. And one brother that helped me out before, he was even saying, like um, like two months ago, 
He was like, I've watched many brothers before. He was like, but I've never seen anyone do videos the way that you do. And I love hearing that. That, that keeps me amped up. That, that makes me feel so damn good. I'm like, oh shit, for real? I'm like, damn, my videos were that good? I love doing videos. I have some brothers tell me that when they get the notification for my video, like when they subscribe and hit that bell, and they get that notification, they tell me that they drop everything that they're doing just to watch my videos. And that feels amazing. That's a beautiful feeling. That's what I love to hear. I love doing this. I love doing this. For real. And me, this ain't no act, this ain't no gimmick. Nope. E even when I talk to brothers over the phone and when we do video chats, I'm always fiery, I'm always passionate. I love being energetic. I love giving my all into videos. I love pouring my heart out into videos. I love doing this. I love using my vivid imagination, getting descriptive. I love being a visionary. I love it. I love talking passionately and fiery. I, I can't get enough of it. I've always wanted to do this. Even my first year in the truth, when I would watch videos, I'm like, damn, I can't wait to acquire enough knowledge so I can begin teaching. And then here I am four years later and I've been in the truth for five years now. And once January comes, it'll be six years that I've been in the truth. Yep, so I'm still here. I'm staying here. And you brothers are amazing. I ain't never given up on y'all. Not Y'all never gave up on me. When I was at my lowest, when I was in the peak of my hell, going through that hotel bullshit, a lot of you believed in me more than I believed in my own self. And y'all kept me going, y'all kept me strong. Yo, and I can't thank y'all enough. Like, words can't even describe it enough. For real, you brothers are real. Y'all some real ass people, and I love y'all a lot. For real, y'all are mad cool. And our blessings are coming. We're gonna have that spiritual power soon. And guess what, even when Esau shuts everything down, guess what, we're gonna need no cars, no transportation, no airplanes to see each other. We're gonna have that spiritual power. We're gonna be riding in chats to each other, flying to each other, teleporting to each other. Shit, with that. and that day comes, we're just gonna move our arm in a circle like this, open up a vortex, jump right through it, and boom, end up in another brother's city, another brother's state, another brother's country. Shit, sure, we got water right here. Yahweh Hashem Yashah, he's gonna give us the ability to breathe into water, and we're gonna be able to swim at super, um, super speed, and boom, swim to another brother. We're gonna be able to swim to different cities, different continents, and we're gonna jump out the water, and our clothes aren't even gonna be wet. The same way when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in the, the fiery furnace and they didn't even get burned, not even their clothes, not even a strand of their hair, nothing got burned to them, but those Hamites got burned up, those Babylonians. Yeah, we're going to be able to waterproof ourselves, swim underwater, pop out the water, and we're not even going to be soaking wet or nothing. Yup, we're going to be able to walk on water, run on water. Yo, y'all remember that movie, The Incredibles? Y'all remember that scene when that little kid was running on water mad quick? Yeah, that's gonna be us very soon. We're the Incredibles. Yup, we're all there. All that's, all that's coming. Shoot, we're gonna be able to ride chariots underwater. There's even underwater chariots. The same way you have, and in, um, in one of my recent chariot videos, I had a clip of an underwater chariot. If y'all remember that, for real. Like the same way Esau calls them UFOs, unidentifiable flying objects, there's also what Esau calls USOs, unidentifiable swimming objects. So Yahweh has charts everywhere. Yahweh got charts in the air and the water everywhere. And we're going to be riding in them. You see these boats? We ain't going to need those piece of shit boats. Hell no. You see all those boats? We ain't going to need none of that. No, we're going to be swimming underwater at super speed, running on water. We're going to have all those abilities. We're going to create a Nimbus cloud like, like um, Goku from Dragon Ball. You're gonna be able to travel like Silver Surfer. Yo, y'all remember Dragon Ball with that Kung Fu dude, right? When he would throw a tree log and then he would run super fast and jump on it and fly on it. We're gonna be able to do all that. Yahweh Ba Shem Yosha said that nothing is gonna be impossible to us. Yo, so we have a lot of great things on the way. Whatever's in your mind, when it comes to spiritual power, you're gonna be doing all that plus more. Because when you have 100% use to your brain, and when Yahweh Ba Shem Yosha activates you and puts you back on God mode, like how we were back in the ancient world, Guess what? You're going to be able to do anything you want to. For real. And I love talking about spiritual power. Spiritual power is so fun to talk about. And I'm going to do more videos like that. All that's coming back. For real. And this time it's going to be better now more than ever. Because now I have more focus. Because like before when I did videos, I'd be on fire doing a video. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, am I going to be homeless tomorrow? Am I going to get money for another night at the hotel? Am I going to have to sleep outside? Am I going to have money for food? But now I don't gotta worry about that, so now I can really put all my focus into this being on fire 144,000% and I look forward to it, for real. Today's a beautiful day, nice and sunny. And over here, we 
you can see how the fish swimming. It's beautiful. I love it. Lots of great scenery around right here. Beautiful northern trap woman. Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm, I got freaking women driving by waving to me and everything. I'm loving this. Women in the car smiling at me as they're driving by. Yo, I see some women, they be with their men in the car driving by and they still look at me. Not that it's right, but I'm like, damn, see, we're shining and glowing. For real. Like how Isaiah 13 and 12 says, Yahweh will make a man more precious than fine gold. Yeah, we're already more precious than fine gold. And the, the darker it gets in this world, the more we're shining. Because that's why it says in Isaiah 60, it says gross darkness shall cover the earth. So this earth is in spiritual darkness and soon the physical darkness is coming because it's about to be lights out. There's going to be EMPs and all that. And guess what? We're going to be shining. Yup. The darkest nights produce the brightest stars. So remember that. This is our time and this is what we've been waiting for. Yep. And that's going to be the new term right there. Like Isaiah 13 and 12. It says how Yahweh will make a man more precious than fine gold. Yeah, we'll wear Isaiah 13 in. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that in my videos. Wear Isaiah 13 in. Yeah, so we're shining. Just remember that. The worse it gets, the more we shine. And like how that other quote goes, it was like, do you know what it takes for stars to shine? A lot of fucking darkness. So this is our time right here. For real. I feel mad good today. I feel so amped up and good. Woo! I feel amazing. For real, I miss y'all. I miss doing camera videos like this. For real. I miss getting the fire and all that's coming back. Feels good to see you all again. I know it's been a while. And I hope that this will be a nice surprise for you all because I know y'all haven't heard from me for a while. And I'm doing better now more than ever. For real. But I, I was so happy to get out of that hotel. It's been about three weeks since I haven't been there and I'm still like, yo, I'm, not, I'm really not there anymore. I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow, I'm not even there anymore. I don't got to live in that piece of shit hotel anymore. I'm like, yo, it feels good. I'm like, yo, the body y'all buy shit, y'all shy. Yes, of course, so our deliverance isn't happening. We're going to be put in better living situations because Yahweh wants us to serve him and Yahweh knows that we want to serve him. So since Yahweh knows that and since we're passing our test and having faith, he's going to put us in better situations. He's going to increase our health and enhance our vibration and put us in the right living conditions so that we can serve him more and fulfill a lot more and so that we can do the work more efficiently. For real. So everything's getting better for us. We're going to be up out of here very soon. For real. Beautiful time's on the way. I'm loving this. This is 27 minutes long so far. I'm going to just keep going. For real, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm just very happy that hotel she's over with. Because, yo, that, that was crazy. Having to be at bachelor places all day. And having to be in the storage room. And then I finally was able to get in a hotel room. And... Just always having to be on the edge, like, am I going to be homeless? And having so many close calls. Yo, there's been times where I almost got thrown out. And there's been times where I got, I, I literally got money to pay for another night. Just an hour or 30 minutes before the check-in time. And the bus was about to come. And if I didn't pay by then, I would have got in trouble and got thrown out. But yeah, how I always had my back. It's like, you know how it says in the book of Job? Like, um, how Job said he shall be saved by the skin of his teeth. It was just like that. I had so many close calls where it looked like there was absolutely no way out, but then Yahweh made a way out of nowhere. Yup, and that's why it says in, um, I believe, what is it, uh, Second Peter, First Peter? I believe it's uh, Second Peter, but it's one of them. It says how the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Yes, yeah, so we're just gonna barely be saved. When those chariots come, and when we're on earth, and when you see those nuclear missiles exploding off in the distance, that wall of fire is literally going to be coming towards us and we're actually going to feel the heat. It's not going to be enough to burn us, but we're going to feel like, you know how you open the oven when you're baking a cake and you feel the heat? It's not enough to burn you, but, it's, but it kind of smacks you in the face. Or you know when you put some bagels in the toaster and you put your face over the, over the toaster, you feel that nice warmth heat and it feels so good. It, it doesn't burn you, but it's enough to feel it, right? Just as, the, the, just as that wall of fire is coming, just as that shockwave is coming, that blast radius, boom! We're gonna shoot right up into the atmosphere. And just enough, boop! You're gonna be in your immortal body. Boom! As quick as you can blink, that's how fast you're gonna be in your immortal body. Just like when you shoot a gun, and it makes that spark for that split second, 
just that quick you're gonna have immortality and everlasting life. Yo, so this is all gonna be happening very soon. For real, so the righteous shall scarcely make it. And I just barely got delivered out of that. That shit was crazy. I, I'm so happy that's over with. I'm like, damn. I'm like, yo, I hope that shit never happens again. Yeah, you know what's funny? There's a hotel right there. Yo, even when I look at a hotel, it don't even gotta be the same hotel that I was at. Even just seeing a hotel, I just get anxiety. Yo, I never wanna be in a hotel, never again. I, I, I don't even care if I have plenty of money. I don't care how nice it is. I never want to be in a fucking hotel ever again. Let me show y'all. There's a hotel right over there. Y'all see right there that, that gray building? That's a hotel right there. Yo, and I, I never trying to be in a hotel ever again. After that shit. Because, you know, it's funny because I spoke to a lot of women, a lot of my princesses that I still have now. And I told them how I was living in a hotel. And they was like, oh, that sounds fun. I'm like, no, trust me, it ain't fun at all. I'm like, nah, you don't want to go through what I'm going through. For real. And that's something I might do too. I, I might do a surviving homelessness series. Because I know a lot of brothers are going through what I went through. And some brothers may be at risk of going through what I went through. And I want to do some videos on like survival tips. Like how to navigate through homelessness and everything. Because... Yo, that shit sucked. And I had to go through it in the winter, too. I had to go through it in the winter and summer. For real. And I'm so happy that's over with. Yes, sir. We're, we're already living as pilgrims upon the earth. And I, I think I might just continue to live a, a nomadic lifestyle because I like being in different areas. See, now, things are better for me and things are going to get better to where I won't have to stress the way I used to and be asked out. So, I'm like, maybe... How may have a place better than this city? So that's why, like how, like how that saying goes, sometimes you got to take that first step, even if you don't see the entire staircase. Because you may be going from one area to another, and you may get settled, and you'll be like, oh, you may really like this place. But guess what? Yahweh may move you to an even better place than that. So our journeys are only getting more and more interesting. We're all going through our own little adventures. We're all going through our own little stories. And bear with me a second. Let me clear my throat real quick. set yes yeah, so a lot of beautiful things on the way for us for real and you never know what you how by Shemesha has in store for you like how that saying goes we fight to hold on and we fight to let go yeah you may be at risk of having to move and you don't want to or you may be about to lose your place but guess what how do you know that something better ain't coming along the way you however moves the old and gives you something new so when one door closes several more doors open for real Yahweh would never take something away from you without giving you something better. So just know that your situation will get better and it's going to be even better than what you expect. Like how the saying goes, instead of stressing about what can go wrong, be excited for what can go right. Because a lot of great things are going to happen. And great things are already happening. Miracles happen every single day. Yahweh would never runs out of things to show us. Like how the scriptures say, we've only seen a spark of his works. So we're going to see a lot more beautiful things. A lot more faith boosting things. We're gonna get more blessings and it's just gonna be beautiful. For real. Yahweh by Shimisha is amazing. For real, it feels good to be doing a video again. Hopefully I'll do another video tomorrow or even later on. I'll see what happens. Yeah, but I'm probably gonna end it right here. Huh? Oh yeah. I'm no sorry. problem. Oh no problem, you're good. You. Yep. Have a good day. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, so today's a beautiful day. Good to see y'all again. Hope that this was a good surprise. I just want to tell you all the good news. Everything's good. Nope, I don't fall out. I ain't done. Hell no. Nope, never. I ain't never done spitting this fire out. I, I ain't called Wrath of Heaven for nothing. Hell no. I'm going to continue with the fire. I'm going to continue pushing out these videos. And now it's going to be better than ever. For real. I've been way healthier. Way stronger. Way more vital. Got new women in my life. And it, it just feels amazing. I, I can't get enough of this. I want some more. I want some more of this right here. For real, much love to all you brothers. Y'all some amazing people. I can't wait to talk to y'all some more. Y'all are mad cool. Stay strong, stay prayed up. We're about to be up out of here. Your blessings are coming. Isaiah 4 and 1, spiritual powers. Having an abundance of food during Jacob's trouble. Riding up in chariots in these last days. Yo, we got so many amazing things in store for us. 
Yo, this is what we've been waiting for. We're living in the most exciting times ever, and it's only gonna get better and better for us. For real. So I pray that all this is edifying. I pray that all this was faith boosting and spiritually uplifting. And with that, shallow bomb and peace. Woo! Let's go!